today is the day guys we're going to be putting the lift kit on the Subi Outback just open this up oh, and there she is she's not stolen that's good so the plan today is wow it's hot in here there's no ventilation all right plan is today is to jack the car up hopefully try and get the lift kit in today i don't know how i'm going to go on it hopefully um hopefully it doesn't take too long i don't really know what i'm doing but i'll figure it out we got instructions and of course the lift kit is going to be two and a half in the rear and a two inch in the front and uh hopefully that's enough for all i need i'm going to be fitting big tires on there so you know these mud these mud flaps are pretty big so i don't know if they're gonna the tires gonna clear that but hopefully we'll hopefully see at the end of the day what the outcome is going to be and um yeah it's a subi subi lift Oz lift kit australian made australian tested that's how we like it designed for the australian outback and of course it's an outback all right let's get into it So we got the car all jacked up. As you can see, it's on the jack stands. Um, so yeah, it's about time. I'll go, I'll go grab the uh, go grab the lift kit. All right, here's the lift kit. See if this the instructions. I'm going to need these. Hopefully, I do it all right. What's the first step? Read the instructions. All right. Well. I better go do that and I'll get it all set up and I'll see you guys after. All right, so it looks like do the rear first. We're gonna um, take the struts out and then we will start to have a look at what's underneath all that after I take the wheels off. All right, guys, let's get into it. Righto, so I got the uh, the rear struts out. They were a pain in the ass. They were very tight in there. It took me like an hour and a half to get them out. So glad they're out. I think these are self-leveling rear. So, um, but I'm gonna be deleting that because I, I don't think you really need it for um, off-road use. I got the sway bar out. So what's next in line is I've got to undo the subframe, uh, chuck all my spaces in, uh, trailing arm spaces, and then I think there's a couple more spaces back in there. I've uh, got to do that, and then I'll do that and I'll come back and we'll see what we can do about the front. got up to I've got uh, these spaces are just loosely in for now uh, I got the trailing arm spacer in there and back under there you can see that the that little brace spacer I'll come around here this is where I've reached some sort of an impasse uh, I've got these spaces installed and that one there too 
<clears throat> but on my trailing arm spacer, one of the bolts, um, where are we? Here, this one here. Can't, there's no bolt there now, but the um, the thread where it bolts up into the car, I think it's probably a little stuffed or it has a rock in it. Because if I show you, so you can see we got it up there and screwing it in, screwing it in, and it's tight. So there's something going wrong with that thread, which is hopefully I don't have to re tap it because I don't have the right size tap. But um, I don't know, there might be just like a rock, it's something stuck up there. So see what I can do with that. But uh, all the other bolt, that one's fine. But that's what I've run into. And then after I figure that out, I can talk that up. And then I think I'm talking these up then. That's already talked up. And it's just these ones that need doing up after I've sorted out that. And then it's time for the struts. Where do they go? Yeah. The struts need to go in. And that should be sweet. Alrighty, um, got it all talked up. 130 foot pounds on these ones. Uh, they were 80. And then the little, uh, little spaces there were 50. Got it all talked up. Ready to go. Um, yeah, I, with that bolt that was loose, or um, oh, not loose, the other way around, tight. I just bloody put a heap of grease on it and I got it in there. It's all talked up. Um, next spot is for the struts. Got the struts over here. I've already set them all up. Got the uh, the spaces on the top. I've just got to uh, chuck them in and do them up. Okay guys, it's now night time. I'm very sorry about that, but we've made progress. I have the struts in. They're all talked up. Um, what we did was we um, unbolted this one and down below here, that one, and we just made them loose and then we jacked, we pushed down the hub and then we jacked up the spring a tiny little bit and got the bolt in. So hopefully it should be sitting at, um, you know, the most natural point. Uh, we couldn't get this one undone, but I'll come back and we'll, I'll try and reset it all. So I have to undo that bush and that one in there and the one back there. And we'll try and get all the bushes sitting nicely, but um, that should do it for now. We've got everything talked up. Uh, everything's talked up in the back. Everything's talked up this side, so now um, I've got to chuck on these little guards under there where the trailing arms were and then um, chuck the tires on, it's ready to go. I did already put the, the struts in on the front. A uh, little bit of a positive camber, I think, but um, hopefully it's not too bad. I will get a wheel on it, a proper wheel on it, so. Shouldn't be that bad. All right, well, I'll see you when we got the tires on. G'day guys, so it is the next day. Um, it got a little bit late last night when I was still finishing up this uh, car, but 
it's all finished now there's a, still a few more things to go but i'm about to show you what the product looks like so here we go and there she is all in its lifted glory got the big tires on there 21570 r16s front and back We've got the one inch raised springs with the two inch lift blocks um one thing in the front here it does rub right here as i suspected so i might have to uh do a little bit of a trim job there with the grinder and also just here on full lock it rubs right there so uh that kind of looks pretty tough right there i don't know if i'll be able to bash that in but we'll see so yeah other than that go well back it's very close to here on the back uh, it does rub when you sort of like go up and down the hill but um it might be able to grind that off a little bit it is does stick out a bit but hopefully that's not a very big issue it doesn't rub like very much just only when it's like flexing um but yeah we got the springs and stuff in there um yeah i do have an issue i think on the left side we have i think these wheel nuts are worn or the wheels worn because when i'm driving from about 40k to about 60k an hour start getting a noise coming from this side so i think it i did have this issue before um with the wheel nuts not seating properly but um i'll try put the old wheels on and just see if that will fix it and then um hopefully it's just the lug nuts i don't really want to get a new rim but uh we'll see how it goes um so yeah we got the full lift in I'm super happy with how it looks. It looks badass. Like, there's so much ground clearance now. It's ridiculous. Like, the car is about as tall as me now. I'm probably a little bit taller. But, it's awesome. And more of this car to come.